Hi, this is Kevin Pulaski from Paradise Found Studio, and today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to take you through my process of drawing comic pages for my Lenten devotional. So what I do is I research uh, on a particular saint and draw two comic pages to kind of summarize the life and times of that saint. And so it's a real powerful process. It really moves me. I did this last year, created about uh, 10 different comics, and this year we're going to, I'm going to do it again. Uh, so I'm going to take you through uh, the process of creating one page. I, I hope you enjoy it. The comic I'm drawing today is of St. Teresa of Avila. She's known to have such deep faith and be in such deep prayer that she floats in the air. And so I show her doing that and then she settles down and tells her story. You'll notice her wiggling toes and that uh, comes in later. And you'll notice I start with a sketch with a light pencil. And I do a lot of research on the internet over my smartphone. So I go through Wikipedia or Catholic.org and different sources. And I cross sources to make sure I get as accurate a picture of the saint as possible. So I get a full picture in my head of the storyline. And then I try to bring that out on paper. So St. Teresa was born in a particularly volatile time in history. During the Protestant Reformation, for example, uh, the Spanish Inquisition was going on at the time. And at a young age, she joined in a particularly easygoing Carmelite convent. I show here is with a disco ball, which was a lot of fun to draw. And then she had a long illness and visions, a uh, uh, religious ecstasy, which really changed her life. And in one particularly violent vision, a seraph drove a fiery point of a lance through her heart over and over and over again. Then I uh, continue to sketch uh, what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to get across. Now generally I do the drawings first because I'm a very visual person. So I leave room for the text and I get all the drawings in. So I'm basically coming up with the story in my head in pictures and then start laying in the text. Sometimes I do it at the same time or the text first, but generally it's going to be the drawings first. And so then I lay in all the text in pencil. So last year when I started this devotion last Lent, uh, I started with St. Francis. So this is the very first one and you'll see in the image at the bottom, that's the San Damiano cross. Okay, very famous. And that was actually the basis, not the comic, but the, the actual uh, cross was the basis of a mosaic I did two years ago as well. Another one I did this year is the story of Mary, and I had particular fun here because you see up in the corner is Mary in utero, okay, talking about immaculate conception. Uh, and then you can see in the bottom corner uh, a very nice image of the nativity, which was fun to draw. And then as I get deeper into the story of Mary, of course, I get into the life of Jesus, the passion, so his crucifixion, and really from her perspective. And then um, the Pentecost, so the coming of the Holy Spirit, and finally her ascension into heaven. And uh, here's a, a rendition, a rough rendition of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Now, one challenge I had is a lot of the saints are male, of course, very male-centric. So trying to work in the women, but a lot of the women are martyred after, at a very young age after being raped or, or in some violent act. And I'm trying to do something for kids, right, or in a comic, so it, that doesn't translate well. So Joan of Arc, starting with the superhero imagery, was a good place to start. And of course, here's St. Michael at the bottom, uh, appearing before her uh, with some other saints. You know, speaking of St. Michael, then uh, really after Lent, but this as a favor of the, the catechist director, uh, I did one of St. Michael the Archangel. So I actually got into how angels work, and then I love the image of him fighting with the devil at the bottom. That turned out really nice. And then actually some drawings are based on Gustav Dore's Paradise Lost here. So those of you that might be uh, uh, familiar with my other work, you'll recognize some of this imagery as well.
and then some other uh, ancient saints that really delve into more legendary and a little less factual, you know, St. Christopher. Not even his real name, probably, okay? And you see, I start with the metal talking, so starting with something people are familiar with. And here's a real fun one of St. Nicholas, okay? And if I always say, if you ever have a chance to draw St. Nicholas punching a cardinal in the face, uh, I'm going to take it. And that's an image that's legendary from the uh, Council of Nicaea. There's some you know, debate on whether he was even actually there, but hey, I'm going to take it, okay? And I'm going to draw it. And here's a particularly obscure ancient saint, uh, St. Moses the Black. So he started off as a criminal, and then he became a very holy man and actually gave his life for his brothers. And of course, moving into a little more contemporary times, still a bit off though, is San Juan Diego and Our Lady of Guadalupe, very famous saint in Mexico and led to the conversion of millions of Mexicans to Christianity. So then, as I get done with the uh, lettering, I then uh, start to ink the drawings, okay? And this is some of my favorite parts. Uh, I, I'm actually using a fine point pen, okay, with the permanent India ink, and that allows me to get a lot of details. Now, I've played around with different uh, ways to do this, so if you look at some of the earlier drawings, they look a little bit different, so I've been working with the technique, really trying to get it done fast. The idea here is to get two pages done a week with my full-time job, other hobbies, so that's pushing it. So I've got to really come up with some fast techniques. Okay, and so this is the story of Fatima. And so here I tried to draw Fatima. This happened in the 20th century. So pretty modern times, well documented, but a light show in Fatima, Portugal that everybody saw and amazed everybody. And moving even further into modern times, we got Padre Pio, okay, famous for his stigmata and other miracles. And then even further into modern times, St. John Paul II, okay, so getting into World War II and his work during the war and then taking it on to modern times. So as I get done with the fine ink work, okay, then I go over it with a brush pen, okay? This allows me to fill in the dark areas and also um, around the edging, so you get a nice thick, thin variance, okay? So it really gives it more of a professional look when you get that where the lines are brushed thicker and thin. And then some of the line work that is in the black area, I follow up with a white pen, okay? And so I'm able to add some of that detail. So as I mentioned earlier, St. Teresa would be in such deep prayer that she would start to float and her fellow nuns would try to hold her down unsuccessfully. So finally, she formed her own Carmelite order, okay, much, much more strict than her previous order. And she insisted on such strict devotionals like flagellation, where you're beating yourself, discalciation, which is removing your shoes, walking around your bare feet, and divine office. Now, this was so successful that she received orders to establish more houses in the new order. She started two monasteries of discount uh, Carmelite brothers, okay? And that even included St. John of the Cross, who's very famous as well. Now here I dwell on something that I find fascinating, a little bit creepy. In a lot of cases, uh, the bodies of the saints are taken apart and shared among other churches. Okay. And so this is ancient tradition. And so in this case, you know, different parts of St. Teresa uh, are in different locations. So I even spell out the different locations because I think it's pretty interesting. 
And finally, I say, but my heart is at rest and remains in Alba de Tormes. Okay, so just end on a light note. So finally, you see the, the full image of the comic. I get a lot of satisfaction out of it, and I hope you enjoy reading it. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this process. Uh, if you want to see the finished pages, you can go to my website. Link is below, paradisefoundstudio.com and you can actually download for free all the different comic pages I've created through this process. And if you enjoy this video, I, I do these every other week, and so please subscribe. We're trying to build a subscriber base, and of course, like this video if you enjoyed it. So uh, I hope you have a blessed Lenten season and a holy Easter.